This is Drew with Boomer Music Company, your band and orchestra experts since 1976, and the podcastingstore.com, the one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. This is your weekend update. Hello and welcome to your weekend update. Before we get started, if you've been watching these and uh, aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please do, because I have a lot of fun making these videos and I would love to have even more people seeing them because I think it's it's kind of fun to show you a peek behind the curtain as to what we're up to and what we're doing uh, over at the store. Now, before we get started, uh, you wouldn't think I'd be in a good mood today, but I really am. My uh, beloved Red Sox fell to the uh, Astros and are out of the Major League Baseball uh, playoffs and are out of contention for the World Series, but the amazing thing with that team is I was looking back at some of the predictions on the preseason and no one had them finishing any higher than fourth in their division, never mind making it to the American League Championship Series. Why do I bring this up? This is a common theme that you're going to find through this week's weekend update, which is calibrating expectations properly. Um, in the world that we're in now, we need to do that even more. So keep that in mind as we progress through here. Uh, but th that's going to be a common theme here uh, for a couple of things that we're doing. Boomer update. Uh, step up day is definitely happening, November 20th. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is Larimer County just reinstituted the uh, mask mandate, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, we have partnered with the coffee shop, Fort Collins Coffee, which is a tenant at the store. And we're actually going to have brass and winds upstairs and then strings downstairs. And we'll use the lesson rooms for tryouts of both if necessary. So we're going to be able to spread out, still wear a mask and be safe and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I just want to give the update on that. I mean, it's it's great news that the coffee shop is uh, allowing us to use their space so thank you so much for that uh, then over on the podcasting store uh, I started to make a video I wanted to show some techniques for noise reduction and things like that and I went down a really weird rabbit hole and in this case uh, I ended up recording a video using the Rode Wireless Go 2 and uh, two separate sound sources. It was just a demo video on my trumpet. I did something similar to this when I was helping out with High Plains School back in the spring. Uh, but one of the challenges that you run into uh, when trying to play an instrument while also talking is that the instrument's going to overload the mic if you have it right here. So by having two separate sound sources, uh, you can combine them afterwards in editing. Uh, but the problem is if you've got one far enough away, that the instrument uh, is heard properly, then you can't hear the speaking. So this is a quick video that I made that was uh, kind of showing how you can overcome that problem, combine all of the audio and audacity, and make a really cool video. And the video is up on YouTube, obviously, as well. I mean, it's just a demo. There's not a whole lot of meat to it. But this video here, the, the clip that I'm about to show you, is showing the process that I used to create that video. So take a look at that and keep that in mind. And my favorite way to do that is to uh, generate silence rather than deleting, which is going to start squishing your tracks and all that kind of stuff. So we hit OK and then bang. And then up here on the talking, um, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So basically, I'm going to use one track just for the trumpet and then the other one uh, just for the speaking. And uh, that works really well if you've got two different sources that you really need to combine into one and you're going to be across the room. So check out this now, how much better this is going to be. So we'll start just right here. And then come back into the video. So I and then this week's view from the road, which again, this goes back to calibrating expectations. This is the first opportunity a lot of schools have had to have performances uh, since either late 2019 or early 2020. And uh, a bunch of schools are, are doing this. And it's not only the kids who have been doing it for a while, but the beginners. And I, the conversation that I had with a lot of directors this week was about calibrating expectations properly. Again, back to that theme. And the, the real victory in all of this was that they had performances in the first place. Uh, the quality of what was going on on stage is almost inconsequential compared to what it took to get there. So here's a clip from that video that I made out on the road this last week. Performances are just about to, and these are potentially the first performances that they've had uh, since either late 2019 or beginning of 2020. So there's a lot of nervous excitement, and with that, there's a lot of new people who have never had the opportunity to perform before that are getting their first taste of that. And uh, I think that the expectations have been reasonable, but the way that I look at it is uh, the performance itself is not the accomplishment. I mean, it's a great accomplishment that we are back in person and able to have live music music making, but the performance is the celebration of the accomplishment. That This may end up being the, the top. And then as I was alluding to in that clip, uh, that this would be the topic of this week's essay, indeed it was. And so over on the Podcasting Store Medium page, uh, I talk about 
uh, celebrating the correct things. And in this case, um, I compared it to when I was running my first Tough Mudder. And I didn't know if I was going to be able to complete the race, if I'd be well on that day, um, get injured, any sorts of things just crept in. But then when the thought occurred to me that the real victory wasn't in completing the race that was really irrelevant, it was in preparing for the race, being able to do it. And so again, recalibrating the expectations. And so the, the takeaway I had from that was completing the Tough Mudder wasn't the accomplishment. The real accomplishment was being able to get ready for it. And the actual event was the celebration of that accomplishment. And so again, this carries back to the Red Sox who overcame every expectation anyone had for them this season. And it also carries back to the performances that the kids just had. So that's kind of my driving theme for this week is to have proper expectations and celebrate all of our wins, no matter how small, because they've all been really hard fought. That's your weekend update. Thank you so much for your support, and we will see you at the store. If you enjoyed the weekend update, do me a favor and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, or visit our websites. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company and thepodcastingstore.com. Thanks for listening.